Thank you. So, uh, tonight's second question is a book question. There's a ton of books out there about cannabis. I didn't bring it, but my friend Chris Bennett, who's written a, a few books on the ancient history of cannabis, he comes to our convention every year. I just went camping with him this weekend. He gave me a copy of his manuscript for his third book, uh, Cannabis and the Soma Solution, which I'm, I've just gotten into. I'm, I'm really uh, enjoying it. But uh, certainly the history of cannabis is something that I'd really love to talk about and think about. And a really good book from the 1800s that describes some of cannabis history. Um, I'm basically going to give you uh, a title except for one word. For 20 points, tell me the word that is missing in the title of this book. Oh, sorry, this is not from the 1800s. I changed that one. Uh oh, and I didn't bring it. Oh. Oops. But. Stoner. I think this one, yeah, well, the one I picked originally was really hard. No one would have got that, so I, I, I decided to go easy on him. So this book was, I believe, published in 1995. It was edited by Ed Rosenthal. The title is Hemp What? Culture. Hemp Blank. If you know out there, please don't say. I should say that to begin with. Please challenge, uh, you know, count your points if you... No, but I, I don't want the contestants taking guesses on things that they've heard or not. So, do, uh, sorry, I had to say that. No, you clap, buddy. What is it? Hemp medicine? No, it's not hemp medicine. So, uh, hemp nation? No, it's not hemp medicine or hemp nation. Um, okay, uh, it, it really uh, focuses mostly on, on hemp, not really cannabis very much. Okay, what is it? No, it's not hemp industrial or industrial hemp, sorry, no. Um, so, uh, I can't give out any more hints than that. Hemp what? It's a book I've pretty much had since, oh, I can't give out any more hints. That was close. But I've known the book for a while. Oops. Hemp magic, you gotta clap, or I don't know if you're really that confident enough. You might just be telling your teammates or something. I don't know. Okay, you clap. What is it? Hemp magic. No, it's not hemp magic. So for five points, looks like five points might be important at the end today. We'll see. Is it hemp today, hemp future, hemp farm, or hemp world? Which one of these four options is it? Yeah. Hemp today, hemp future, Woo! hemp farm, or hemp world? Which one of those four uh, options is the uh, true title of Ed Rosenthal's book? You, no, no, you don't clap. I'll just come over and get your answer. Say it quiet. Okay, did you guys guess here? Okay, you guys guess hemp today, and that is correct. It is hemp today. So, uh, girls on top. Are, are even right now, but you know they're they're closer. So uh, yeah, five points apiece here, and uh, it looks like it's going to be a pretty tense game. So I'm famous for a few things, and, and with my game show, I, I'm really quite notorious for going through my newsletter and picking out statistics that people will never be able to remember, and then asking them questions about it, like it's really important. So I've done that again tonight. Um, we have a, a newsletter, Cannabis Digest, it's online if you want to read it. Uh, our, our web pages and our forums are getting more and more active, it's, it's pretty neat. We're, we're taking hempology beyond Victoria in many ways. So if you want to find out what's happening in the movement, it's really good to read the newsletter and it's critical if you're getting in the contest. So there's a lot of quotes here in particular in this issue from the Barron decision which is the other medical club in town, the Vancouver Island Compassion Society. They had a big grow up go down a few years ago and stuff. So uh, there's a bunch of statistics from Health Canada here. And there's one of them in particular that I thought was really important uh, for a bunch of reasons. And let's see if anybody here read that court decision or kind of knows this answer. Within two, within two, what percentage of Canadians According to this decision, um, over the age of 15, use cannabis as medicine. What percentage of Canadians? How high do you think it is, according to this? What's your guess, Tim? 
67%. Oh my goodness, Tim. I shouldn't give out any hints, but it's not 67%. Um, <laughs> okay, what's your guess here? 17%. Um, no, that's not correct, but it's uh, a lot closer to the 67. That's like more of the percentage of people that believe it should be legal. But, uh, you know, really, uh, um, I don't want to throw out too many numbers, but uh, what percentage of Canadians over the age of 15 use pot as medicine? Like, believe that they use it as medicine. Right, so like we have, let's say, 30 million people. There's been uh, various numbers uh, thrown around, uh, certainly about how many may or may not need cannabis. Again, at our club, we sell cannabis to about 2,600 sick people. We estimate there's probably 20,000 potential members of our club in the area. It's it's probably more than that because Victoria's got uh, a lot more older people uh, than some parts of the country do so it could be a, a higher per capita percentage but there certainly would be 20 to 25,000 people in the area that could qualify for a club which kind of scares the shit out of some of us because I wouldn't be able to keep up with that but anyway for 10 points okay um, I think uh, yeah according to, to what it says and maybe I should uh, you know, read it exactly so everybody knows exactly what they're guessing here. Of course, this is going to challenge me to find it quickly, but no pressure, really. After all the mistakes I made in last week's game show, what could I do this time that would be embarrassing? No, the ball's in here. Um, okay, here it is. Um, in, in the Canadian Addiction Survey, um, it reported in 2004 that this percent of Canadians over 15 years of age use cannabis for its self-reported medical use. So that's how it is. You clap. Within two, what is it? 24. 24. No, it's not 24 percent. Um, which would put the number at about seven and a half million Canadians. Just to give you a perspective, I sh shouldn't have <laughs> said everything there, but 24% should have done that earlier. But, okay, what's your guess? Seven, no, it's not seven. So, um, Yeah, we're doing multiple choice. That's right. Oh, okay. Yeah. So, um, I'm going to give four options here. And, uh, yeah, you guys know how it works. Okay. So, here's your options. Um, is it 2%, 5%, 11 or 21%? What percentage of Canadians self-reportedly use cannabis as medicine? 2, 5 11 or 21 those are the options folks so uh, you guys are tied so I'll, you guys are hot I'll get your answer first what you guys guess over here two everyone's fooled with two it's five percent making the number about a million Canadians that uh, self-reportedly use cannabis as medicine so uh, yeah I, I, I really love when I can pick out numbers from this that people should know so thank you very much for that experiment tonight <laughs> no 17 what am i doing you said within seven holy shit holy cow folks yeah i don't know what the hell's going on here oh yeah no He's here, that's cool. It's all out of control anyway. Holy shit, you're right, yeah. What am I doing? I'm so sorry. Don't let me get away with anything like that. Oh my god, you get 10 points. Oh, yeah. I thought that was five points. Okay. I shouldn't have joked about making a worse mistake than last week. That's what I get. Okay. Anyway, the, ganja, uh, the girls on top have got 15, the ganja guru's got 5, and I'm in the hole.